So uh, let's knock that out. Come on. Come on. There it is. All right. Let's open this up. It's already open. There they go. You want to get in some Optic, Nicholas? Check out our website, man. Still got some good teams left. And I got personal boxes available, too. If you're feeling froggy, jump. All right. And as always, good luck, everybody. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's open this up. Four on card autos per box in this. Gonna need some top loaders. All right, good luck, y'all. See what we got in here. All right, we have Ian Anderson, Braves, Lazarito, Armenteros with the old school Bowman design on that. Autograph for Wilmer Becarra, Mets. We got Kevin Maitan, Braves, on card autos in this stuff. Uh, come on. Orioles, Cody Sedlock. Scoop this over here. All right, and Jason Groom, Red Sox. How's everything with you, Nicky Nick? Ten ninety nine, Willie Calhoun. That goes to the Dodgers. Got a die cut here to 50. Michael Franco and JP Crawford. Boom. Got nothing there. Let me write this down. And then that. All right, box number two. Here's an auto for Lazarito Armenteros. That's a nice card. Let me type this up real quick. That is... To 199, Jason Groom, Red Sox. Alfredo Rodriguez, autograph for the Reds.
Tomas Thomas Zapuki of the Mets with the autograph. To 99 Francisco Mejia Indians and then Ian Happ and Nick Senzel base cards there all right let me hit my dude up here What up, Aiden? Over on Breakers. What's up, man? Long time no see. Hope all is well. Doing some high-tech baseball right now. Four autos per box. All right, just the Sheffield Yanks. Patrick Weigel, Braves. To 25, Yadier Alvarez of the Dodgers. All right, I need to make some moves here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, knocking down that Donruss optic a tad more. Let's see here. Mm, that's picked up. Let me see. The Mavericks. Warriors. And the Suns. Update that right there. Alright, anyway. Let's keep this going. Corey Ray, Brewers. Autograph on card. For the Mets, PJ Colon, autograph. So you got some teams gone here. Shout outs to Edgar, picking up the Nuggets. The Mavericks are gone. The Suns are gone. And the Warriors are gone. 16, oh, I'm sorry, six teams uh, left in Optic. Your boy had to make power moves. Power moves made. Jason Groom, Red Sox. I'm, Robert, I'm telling you, watch out for your boy. Watch out for your boy. I'm getting there. Imagine, wait, wait until I have some years under my belt, Ra Ra. Oh, oh, we're gonna sit it back and laugh at these days. Zach Collins of the White Sox autograph. Now flawless. Now that's a different beast. Flawless is a different beast. Uh, the Nets right now are twenty-four bucks, Alex. To one eighty-nine, Anderson Espinoza, Padres. Fernando uh, Romero, Mitch Keller. How is that, Ra Ra? How well we we'll talk. We'll talk at the national. We'll talk at the national. It's going to be a me, you, Jason, little seminar. Alex, you my dog forever. This is box four. 
Uh, Lewis Castillo, PJ Colon. Oh, this is sick. Rice Hoskins. Autograph for the Phillies. Nice, nice, nice. Got a Brendan Rodgers redemption. I'm pretty sure that goes to the Rockies, but I'll double check it. Luis Castillo Reds autograph. Uh, Justin Dunn of the Mets autograph. Post Malone concert live on Twitter. Ill, no thank you. I'd rather eat Tide Pods. Uh, what do we have here? Willie Calhoun to 199 for the Dodgers. Lewis Brinson, Ian Happ, and Thomas Apuki. Base cards. Uh, Bo Bichet still come has still haven't come out to play yet. Post Malone is he? I mean, it's not my cup of tea. But what I can say is, I mean, he has that one song that's pretty cold, that White Iris and shit. I don't know what it is. That shit, that shit rides. That should be riding. Raptors are going to be a tough team to beat in, in Toronto, man. All right, we got Mitch Keller Pirates. To 75, Dansby Swanson of oh, the Braves. That would have been nice with some ink on it. For the Mariners, Kyle Lewis, the autograph. Got to look up the checklist for that Brandon Rogers. To 189, Dylan Cozens. Phillies, who just might be worse than the Marlins, if you can believe that. The Astros, Forrest Whitley, autograph. Yankees, Glaber Torres, autograph. Rogers is, is Rockies, right? I mean, that's what I thought, but, you know, that's what I got a checklist for. To 189, Corey Ray, Brewers. To 25, Eloy Jimenez. Going to the Cubs. That's a big card right there. That's nice. What up, dog? Sting or Macho Man? Huh? Sting or Macho Man? I have to go Macho Man. It's it's supposed to be greatest WWE star of all time. It's a tournament. They have them seated together. It's Sting versus Macho Man. I gotta go Macho Man. Of course. So you need to go on the big play. You need to make sure he wins because it's forty nine fifty one right now. My thing is Sting barely wrestled in WWE. Exactly. He doesn't belong there, and he's in the lead by two percent. So See, he's he's in there as a technicality. So I'm t I already tagged you. I said, listen, you tag all your friends. Make sure they all Macho Man. Because that's man. fucking bullshit. Exactly. Are you watching WrestleMania Sunday? No. I'm not. Oh, because you're going to be live. Huh? You're going to be live on Sunday or something? Uh, Yeah, I'm live Sunday. But no, after after seeing Rock Stone Cold live, that's the 17. There's no... Else is boring, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. But I enjoyed it up until that point. Yeah, you just saw one of the greatest matches of all time. <laughs> all right, Last Box Mojo, Andy Ibanez, Ozzy Albies, to 199, Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. I know, I know a little something, something about baseball, Alex. I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, well, Ma me and Mario. Well, Mario was talking about how like there's a poll uh, going on on Facebook or something, where it's like a tournament bracket style kind of deal. And right now it's Macho Man versus Sting. Uh, between the two, who is the you know the better WWE uh, wrestler? And Sting literally had like he I think he was with WWE for like a month. He had a match with Triple H and it was fucking terrible. Triple H couldn't even put over Sting in his first WWE match, which I think was his last WWE match. Whereas Macho Man, Macho Man did some things on WCW, but Macho Man was mostly known for his time 
in the WWF. So for me, Sting shouldn't even be in that poll. It shouldn't be. Since you have some pull, let the people know. Big play on Facebook. Let me get that phone right quick, phone though. now. Make sure you don't know to pull up the penis. Boom. Uh, all right. So check it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Big play created a poll. Greatest WWE wrestler of all time. Macho Man versus Sting. They're, Sting, first of all, should not even be considered. There's only like 25 minutes left. But the fact that he's at 51%, like the fact that it's that close is crazy. Thanks, By the way, what kind of case is that? That's, I need that in my life. Yeah, you can only throw the shit against the wall. Is that like the maximum protection one? Yeah. Yeah, there's only two. There's like the commuter and the defender, I think it's called. I think there's three. Is that the one with the screen on top too? Yeah, but I pulled it off. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I don't like it. Yeah, that shit's gay. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Weigel, Braves autograph. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they should include WCW and WWE rankings because it got bought out by WWE. But I'm... I'm... I'm a purist, if 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 you really want to break it down. Sean Newcomb of the Braves autograph. Same thing with ECW. ECW is also owned by WWE. I'm still I'm still getting used to calling it WWE. It's fucking WWF, goddammit. it. And then the you know the, the the world wild wildlife preservation or whatever the hell, uh, you know they went and sued, so they had to change their name to entertainment. The World Wrestling Federation they should have kept that WWF what? That was the shit. Yeah, ECW was definite. Well, ECW was more like. The backyard wrestling, to, like the shit that you couldn't see on WWF or WCW, you could see in ECW. Like, you know, barbed wire matches and, you know, like stupid, crazy, ridiculous shit. Uh, Justin Dunn to 99 for the Mets. Whereas WCW was a legit competitor with WWE, like, and for a long time. I remember I would watch Monday Night Nitro. And then I would watch the retape of the WW of Monday Night Raw, so I get I got to see both. I would watch, uh, and I remember it was I think it was on TBS or TNT, one of those. I would watch uh, Monday Night Nitro, which was the WC, WCW programming, and then I would watch the retape of uh, Monday Night Raw. So I got the best of both worlds. But like I remember when the Monday Night uh, wars were going on like it was legit beef though that was like the greatest time in wrestling for me anyway anyway uh justin dunn Mets. there's the Bo bichet to 189 for the blue jays no ink on it though glaber torres jp crawford and braxton garrett for the marlins Yeah, I mean, when I was when I was growing up, those were the big promotions. It was, it was ECW, which you needed the black box to watch that. WCW, WWF, and you know there was local shit here too, like in Tampa and things like that. But nationally televised, those were like the big three. And uh, that was the break, y'all. So to recap it, there's a high tech auto of Brendan Rodgers that goes to the Rockies. I don't remember, dude. I don't. I didn't watch it, but I saw it because I like to go back and like rewatch old matches and shit. I saw a match with Jake the Snake Roberts and Macho Man Randy Savage, where Jake the Snake literally got his snake, wrapped it around uh, the Macho Man, and the snake bit his ass. And the Macho Man was in legit pain, but he was like all tangled up in the. I don't know. It was, it was amazing. Anyway. Justin Dunn to 99 Mets. Recap time. Sean Newcomb Braves. Patrick Weigel Braves. Ahmed Rosario to 189 Mets. Elo Jimenez Cubs to 25. Glaber Torres Yankees. Forrest Whitley Astros. Dylan Cozens Phillies. Kyle Lewis Mariners. Justin Dunn Mets. Luis Castillo Reds. Rice Hoskins Phillies. Zach Collins White Sox. Uh, Jason Groom Red Sox. PJ Colon Mets. Corey Ray Brewers, Tomas Zapuki Mets, Alfredo Rodriguez Reds, 
Jason Groom Red Sox, Lazarito Armenteros A's, Jason Groom Red Sox, Cody Sedlock Orioles, Kevin Maiton Braves, and Wilmer Becarra of the Mets. And that, my friends, was the break. 2017 Bowman High Tech Baseball, half case number six, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.